how am I doing this? To demonstrate this, um, I put a small amount of this in there. You can see it at the bottom. And I'm going to squirt just some plain water in here. And uh, you can see some of uh, what it does and how nicely this stuff works at absorbing water. So you can probably see how quickly that happened. I can keep squirting water in there. keeps absorbing it. And I've almost reached its max there. Where that can't quite absorb the water. But that little bit of powder. And uh, there you go. I'm going to briefly show um, how I made this green goo. Um, and why I made it. Uh, it is uh, a heat resistant and fire resistant gel. Um, it says mix well there. You'll see if you turn it on its side, there's this goopy stuff that's kind of stuck at the bottom more than anywhere else. And that stuff at the bottom is this. And this is called sodium polyacrylate. Uh, this is a white powder. It's a really fine powder. Let's see how it broke up there a little bit. Um, a small amount of this will absorb a lot of water. Uh, I believe a tablespoon will absorb uh, over half a gallon of water. So it's extremely water absorbent. And I use this. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't put it in water. I use this water-based lubricating gel, uh, which has water in it. Um, and uh, so it was just an experiment to see what would happen. But sure enough, the sodium polyacrylate, the white powder, absorbed this very slowly over about, I don't know, two weeks maybe. And it became this greenish, or it was clear at first, goop. And then I added EG, or ethylene glycol, which is the same stuff we put in our radiators because it has uh, some good heat-resistant properties. So I mixed this up better. Uh, you can see it got a little bit cloudier with everything mixed together better, especially the sodium polyacrylate. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take some of this right here, and we're going to put it on my hand on the palm of my hand. This is probably not the quickest method, but should work. There we go. So most of what's there in my palm is water-based. So that uh, obviously will resist fire. I'm going to take this little piece of cotton cloth Spray it heavily with isopropyl alcohol, which of course is flammable. Pick this thing up, put it right there, and light it. Believe it or not, all I feel right now is the coolness of that gel in my hand. This all started by me trying to replicate uh, a Hollywood thing I saw where I noticed the guy was covered in jelly. It was on fire. Again, it's just water between the fire and me. I don't feel it. It still feels cool on my hand. So, you get the idea. Rather than use it more video, we'll just call it quits right here.